For case number six, we have 61 year old male who is presented with class two angina. He has a history of PCI2 already in 2017 and PCI2 RCA and OM in 2020. He is currently having normal LV function, coronary angiogram revealed, patent stent in OM, LAD and CTO in proximal part of RCA. He has a syntax score of 10 and JCTO score of 2. Today's plan is PCI2 RCA CTO under IVAS or OCT guidance. Let's look at angiogram. Over to cat lab. Feeder FC. Feeder FC. Just feeder guide or feeder FC, sir? Dr. Rajni, Dr. Saito, you're on. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, no. Uh, here, XTA, that XTA. This one. Number 30. 3 XTA. Uh, XTA, 29. 29. Hmm. Hmm. So, you are on, sir. Oh, okay. This is a, a chronic total occlusion in the proximal right coronary artery. Unfortunately, the collateral circulation from left to right is not good because of the too much torchacity and the very tiny uh, loop. And uh, actually, there is no direct connection between left and right. XCA, yes. So, only choice for me is to do antigrade approach for this case. Small needle. Uh, question, are there any older angiograms that will help you with the proximal anatomy? Do you have the ability to look at the 2017 angiogram that shows the patent vessel? Uh, it's already on. Already? Ah, this one. I see. We open microcatheter? Yes. Microcatheter. Okay. Yes, Dr. Saito, uh, Akasaka speaking. Yes, in Japan we have um, a lot of CT before CTO intervention. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is sometimes very useful to yeah. identify the root and mm -hmm. also the uh, the length of the uh, CTO. Yes. Yeah. But uh, you are legend, so you should be okay without CT. But uh, any any good suggestion? If uh, we have a CT, is, is, is it good? Yes, CT is uh, helpful to identify the presence of calcification mainly, and also the length of the total occlusion. But uh, in this kind of uh, regions, I I don't know. How was the CT exam? So, if preacher, if my job be a mama, put you. So, uh, this case, you can see some uh, faint yes. contra contrast staining. Yes. yes, yes. At the tip of the guiding catheter. Yes. Okay. And we can identify the stent, yes? So yes. We can speculate the, the root, right? Yes. So the problem is, uh, so how long this uh, CTO? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know, actually. You don't know? Yeah. Can you see the tip of the, where is the tip? Well, it's just 
just coming yeah. coming Where is the tip of the microcatheter? Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So why is it coming? This is a field XTA. I think one good thing is that there's a stented open lumen in the mid vessel as a target. So even if uh, we track extra plaque, there's yeah. a good distal entry zone, I think. That is, that is helpful. So, so, Rajiv, so how would you do I this? can't hear you, Mauricio, your microphone. Hmm? Can you hear me there? Yes. So if you were to do this, how would you approach this? Uh, integrate the um, wire escalation or you go straight uh, from the retrograde uh, cart ret um, reverse cart approach? Yeah, for this uh, case, the retrograde approach is not feasible. Because, not feasible. Yeah, because of the too much toxicity. Okay. I think uh, given, th given the stented lumen in the mid-vessel, I think an anti-grade approach is actually an anti-grade wire escalation or a, a knuckle dissection down and re-enter directly into the stent would be my two, two thought processes. Mercy, how would, how would you do it while well, Dr. Saito, we watch his expertise? I, I think I would do again. Uh, I didn't have the chance to appreciate the collaterals and the tortuosity, but it seems that as uh, Dr. Uh, Saito Sensei appreciated, there's probably uh, too much tortuosity. Just a minute, sir. Your mic is not working. My, just my, a minute. I, I am just not a, a second. Let's just get it up. I am not a very sophisticated um, CTO operator. Yeah, it's working. So I'm, I'm not a very sophisticated uh, CTO operator, so I usually do the integrate wire escalation. And then the section reactory is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more complex. I think in this case, um, the XT wire may be a little bit too soft to penetrate the, the, the proximal cap. This is so I would probably go with the more there. aggressive ah, yeah, wire. Just uh, coming out from the, okay. the wire that's yeah. worked very well for me is um, the Pilot 200. Yeah, I think once you penetrate the, uh, the cap, then, then uh, something like a, a Pilot 200 uh, or the next XT generation, like the Gladius. Soft. That is Mongo Y would be, I think, an excellent choice. One, another but again, I think, mm. I think unlikely you'll need to use any Maybe sophisticated re-entry device because you Gaia have that fast. scent target there. Gaia fast wire should be easy to get into there. Remove this one. We'll just move it. Oh, keep. Gaia fast, please. So the next wire that uh, Saito but Sensei requests is um, Gaia first. Yes. Which has um, a micro a micro tip and it's um, stiffer uh, to penetrate the cup. Yes. Need and, uh, need, yeah. Now, uh, Rajiv, what do you think about the choice of microcatheter? What would be your go-to microcatheter that would, uh, you would choose for these uh, type of interventions? Would you choose uh, a fine cross or you'd uh, rather use something with a tip uh, more tapered like, uh, like a Corsair or a, or a Turpike, uh, one of the Turnpike family uh, of catheters like an LP or just a regular Turnpike? 
Yeah, I mean, we're so lucky these days to have this array of microcasters available to us. And I, I do think for CTOs now, you need to have four or five different types of microcaster uh, to, for different types of morphology. For this lesion, I, I don't think it really matters so much. Our default would be a uh, turnpike spiral or something talkable with a tapered tip. But for this lesion, uh, I, I don't think it's so, Im so important. But for, uh, for just general, if you're going to do a CTO program, I think you need to have, I would say, a minimum of three, ideally four or five different uh, um, types of microcatheter. And then you have to, be, um, and not only that, you have to have the four and um, five, but you need to know them. You need to know how they behave, what to expect. So, for example, the caravel catheter is a hydrophilic catheter that is super slick. Very hot. But then the tip, uh, you don't want to go into calcified vessels with that because uh, the tip may, may, may break off. So, uh, so there are multiple ma families of microcatheter nowadays. and. For the CTO operator, I think uh, it's become a sub sub specialty on its own, and but sometimes it's, it's hard to do everything we want to do and, uh, and be good at everything we do. You're completely right, Marisha. That's a really good point, and because each of them behaves differently, one of them, the turnpike, you you turn clockwise; the corsa, you turn counterclockwise; and with the caravel, you never turn uh, because that tip will disconnect and. If you don't know these things, you'll you'll uh, become uh, have a problem when you leave a tip behind or or unscrew a, a microcatheter. Looks like there's been maybe a little bit of progress through the anagrade uh, through the proximal cap. No, I don't think it's so. The, it's the same. The proximal cap is very hard. Yeah, I cannot make any penetration by using this wire. This is Gaia first. So your strategy next, uh, Dr. Uh, Saito, would be mm. something like a Confianza Pro 12? Or? Mm, yes, I have to make uh, some escalation. So how would you compare the Gaia first with the Pilot uh, 200, which is, which is like my, my, my go-to wire? And again, my, my practice of interventional cardiology is very broad. And, so, uh, and uh, CTOs, okay. complex CTOs is the one aspect that I don't feel I have the the time to dedicate or the experience or the volume to, to, to completely understand how each one of these uh, pieces of equipment behave. I do towers, mitral clips, I close no, no, no. Uh, holes in the heart and, uh, and do unprotected okay. left yeah. lanes, large bore axis, but um, the, the CTO frontier is, uh, is something that uh, I just don't yeah. have the time to... Yeah, I mean, you, again, there's another good point, Mercy. There's so many different wires and so many different brands, you, you do need familiarity with the different types. But to answer your question, I, I don't think that I would choose a PAL 200 to penetrate the a calcified cap. It's more once you've got through the cap that it'll be a great uh, tracking wire. But to penetrate um, the, you know, the, the dedicated tapered tip yeah. wires look, like the Confianza uh, Protocol. Saito Sensei here has made a significant progress now with the Gaia first. And if you could appreciate in the last uh, picture that he took a retrograde, um, you can see that the occlusion is not that long and there's a lumen just a few millimeters away from the tip of this wire now. Right, um, Saito-sensei? Yeah, but uh, I feel very strong resistance at the tip of the wire. Okay, one more injection, please. Okay, inject, inject, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Hmm. I'm not, not that far. Like, uh, hmm? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Here, it's very hard. So, I don't know how things are in India, but uh, in the US, um, um, CTO has become a specialized uh, fellowship these days. So if you want to do this type of work, you have to do additional training at a high volume center so you, you understand uh, each, one of these, uh, each one of these devices and you learn, um, you learn how to feel the differences because uh, you know, it's not so only can be about Gaya being book smart. Uh, yes, you have? So we're, we're escalating now to a Gaia, to a Gaia third. Marissa, your point is true about the specialty, but, but it's also important to learn that 
that you can apply many of the skills from CCOs to your regular practice. And look at the case this morning that uh, guy first next that Dr. Saito used for that OM1. Right, that was not a CTO, but he used Sir. his CTO skills to, to do that. And I think uh, for some of these non-crossable lesions, Second. et cetera, third one? CTO Sir, skills are important. You don't have SAD. Yeah. You don't have SAD. No. No? Which one, sir? This is second. Yeah, second. Is this second? Third. Third. Okay, third. Go ahead, third. Third. That's what he said. But they're laying out of it. The region is so hard to make uh, penetration. So in this kind of uh, in front of uh, this kind of very hard regions, if we, I take the soft wire, the tip of the soft wire is easily bent and uh, make uh, some uh, unusual filtration. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. why the, this time I, I'm exchanging wire to yeah. first, from first to third. Dr. Saito, you are the master and I usually follow you for all these CTOs. But uh, uh, you just uh, you, you couldn't, I think you couldn't find the macro channel by some way. Mm. Because, uh, because you were, uh, uh, maybe the, yes. the flexible wires uh, as it goes its own way and multiplane views, multiple views to see that maybe somewhere in the upper part of the wall of the RCA, maybe the macro channel would be there. Yes, that's why the, I first started from XTA. It's uh, easily going to the micro channels, but, but I could not find any micro channels connecting, from, uh, uh, connecting through the total occlusion. So that's why the, I escalated the wire to Gaia first and then Gaia third. Of course, the risk of the wire penetration is increasing while I'm escalating the wire strength. And geographically also appears that the proximal ocular segment and distal ocular segments are moving in different dimensions. So there must be some bend hmm. across yes. the CTO yes, segment. Yes, that's true, that's true. Yeah, across the CTO segment. This proximal right coronary artery shows some anatomical bending. So as uh, we escalate the uh, wires, uh, the operator also needs to be cognizant of the risk of complications and need to, to, to learn how to bail them, yes. to bail him, bail him or herself out of, uh, of any complications that uh, may occur. Yes. Here is the proximal occlusion. There is no side plan, so we cannot insert any imaging tool like I was to see the proximal cap, two sorts. So we have to go by our assumption from the yeah. start. Yeah. Uh, going out. Can we check in different angles because some bend will be there following that part. But uh, anyway, obviously. Haro thirty. I can see some space between the tip of the wire and, and the, the distal, yeah. yeah, distal. So there is a very strong bend, bend. I see. Yeah. So previous angiography may be helpful to see the, or CT angiogram before this CTO attempt, that very we can assess whether there is bend or not. Hmm. Well, Dr. Saito, I mean, now that you penetrated the cap even one millimeter, do you think a knuckle wire to, would be safer to stay in the architecture? Yes, but uh, the problem is uh, now I am using a 6 guiding catheter uh, and the backup support 
by this guiding catheter is not good. So the knuckle wire technique cannot make any penetration, uh, I, I'm afraid. Hmm. I'm pushing very strongly. Very hard. The coaxiality is also of the catheter is not that much because the tip yeah. of the catheter is, is projecting downwards in the ostium. Yeah. And giving less, I think the, the wire is deflecting a little bit there, though the macro catheter is there. Mm. Can, you, can you take a different angle views like iliocaudal or lateral? Mm -hmm. And also the both the donor and the feeder vessel also to the dual injection. Okay, I am I pushing the. It's going a little bit. It's mm -hmm. now in the course possibly. Okay, so any other projection? But I think this one is the best one. Mm -hmm. But uh, which one is uh, better? See, the caudal would be better. Caudal. I yeah, don't think so. Or okay. the lateral. Caudal. Okay. I inject this one first and, and you inject. Okay. 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 Yeah. Very close. Very close. But, uh, Very close yes. I think you're in the track now, almost mm. approaching the station. Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> almost going out, <laughs> you know. So if I can push the micro catheter, that will be helpful. But uh, of course, I cannot do it. I'm uh, pushing strongly. Mm. I think you have to dig a little that uh, push and pull a little bit and then <laughs> digging it towards it because there is a small die hanging there which means that you are near the track. Mm. Mm. The guiding is not good. Are there different microcatheters uh, in the lab, uh, like a spiral or a Corsair? Corsair might be helpful, but the problem is uh, guiding. Yeah. I think uh, this is going out. Okay. 
Very close. Okay, are we able? I don't know. <laughs> well, it seems that the tip of the wire is uh, going towards. I mean, how the wire would behave as you push. Is it difficult to push now? Cannot push. Okay, come back. Hello. Hello. Can you take the filter XT again now? Here is the XT is too Because it's soft. safe and it, it, it does not create that much problem, but there will be a chance. Because a little bit micro channel may be so there. We, we, can, we can change to Corsair. Okay. I think it's different. Different route. Mm. No, 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 no. <coughs> Can I have XTA? XTL wire. Yeah, no, we have. We have. First, okay, there's first one. one. First one. Oh. can never control <laughs> the tip. <laughs> ah, going somewhere. <laughs> okay. Obviously, in the different room. Mm. Dr. Saito, what do you think about starting with a fresh guide and a whole new, new approach? 
and a grade. So, but uh, which guiding catheter do you recommend? This, this is an amplitude left one. Maybe a seven French? Seven, we don't have seven French. Amplitude left. How do you think, uh, Rajiv, the seven French would make a difference? Well, I think, I think then, I mean, this Dr. Saito is the expert, of course, but then I think a new approach, like one or two millimeters penetrating the cap, then knuckling in a, uh, knuckling in a tissue plane with a different microcatheter and a different guide, it will be something different. I don't think the retrograde poach is a good one here, so some fresh anagrade approach. Or the unbrain catheter may allow us to use dual human catheter and... I, I think we will con we'll keep this microcatheter here, here and, and we'll put another course here and try from another side. Yes, uh, double wire technique. But yeah. uh, the problem for double wire technique is, uh, you know, uh, this is a six French guiding, yeah. so the the maneuver is quite limited. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Saito. Once we enter proximal fibrous cap, then we can take out this microcatheter and wire and then we can proceed with the newer course here. Yes, but uh, the position of the guide wire is quite unstable right now. So while yeah. I'm uh, removing the micro catheter from this wire, yeah. uh, I, I may lose the position. Uh, Dr. Saito, mm. talk here. How about just uh, injected food and micro catheter with some contrast? Create a little bit more some internal space <laughs> that you <laughs> not go wide down. Okay, you are so aggressive. Okay, I will try it. <laughs> I will try it. It's uh, easy to for me. Okay, so contrast some uh, one yeah. cc syringe. Oh, this is the this Carlino way. technique. Mm -hmm. tack. Uh, the Carlino oh, technique contrast to yeah. contrast tissue plane. Yeah. They call Carlino uh, technique. One cc. One cc contrast. Wait. Small syringe, small two syringe. Two cc syringe. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm. Okay. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> already proximal care has been so overcome. Uh, Only the issue <coughs> is to re-enter the distal one. No, this is a, 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 a from the from the tip of the micro catheter. Uh. The already that the space is outside of the artery, and then we stained the some uh, tissue outside mm -hmm. of the vessel and then that's all so this route is not good anyway so how do you think do you have a ikari ikari 6 catheter because ikari can give no you i don't support. think so and with a guide extension if you need support and you have to start fresh, fresh, because tip of the microcatheter a little bit you have to pull beyond the proximal cap, and then you have to start with the wire again. Hmm. So we have. Another wire. Can you can can you show me the list? The list. The wire? wire list. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Sixteen. Good idea. Sixteen. Sixteen number. Just a moment. Good idea. Sir. Sir, we have a seven friends guide. JR, JL, we have a JR. JR, JR cannot provide. No, okay. 
Mm. I don't think so. I, 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 yeah, maybe, or maybe in the muscle, but uh, not in the... Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, the the guiding cluster is not coaxial, and the, uh, the yes. exit is uh, the very uh, yes narrow, right? So yeah. this is might be a very difficult case. I suppose. Yes, and uh, also bending. Yeah. Right. Right. So, how about the uh, short amplitudes? Uh, we, we can uh, get the. Uh, Coaxial position, I'm not sure. I think that uh, we don't have a short amplitude left. Oh, I see, I see. Can you step on floor to mm. see if the stain is clear? No. Hmm? The, step, the, st the stain is not clear. There is a stain there. It's yeah, a yeah, muscle. No, it's not in the perk part. Hmm. No. No, the stain is in the muscle. Yeah, muscle. That's what I thought, because of the way, otherwise you would see the. You know the two from movement of mm. the of the contrast if it takes the contrast. Sixteen number. So 16. maybe final attempt is uh, to to use uh, gradius. Gradius is a hydrophic wire, hard wire. In such case, can we use crusade? Crusade? Uh, no, because uh, cru the crusade is, has, uh, you know, a relatively large profile, and so the, it's quite difficult to put crusade into this kind of uh, proximal occlusion. This is the hydrophic wire. Huh? You can see the tip of the. It inside the catheter. Inside. Mm. No, impossible. The wire is going to the outside.
Dr. Saito, can you pull the air a little bit so that the tip of the catheter becomes <coughs> more coaxial? Yes. Yes, of course I'm doing that. But uh, the problem is uh, if I pull back the guiding, the, the I very easily lose the position. You can see, the, now I cannot control anything for guide wire and guiding catheter and micro catheters. So, maybe if I continue this kind of procedures, because I cannot control any parts, so I may create some big complication. So it's time to stop the procedure for me. How do you think? I think that's very reasonable, Dr. Saito. Mm -hmm. And then we can give this a few weeks and then return with a different strategy, yeah. maybe seven or eight French, and, uh, yes. and start, start with a, a whole new set of equipment. I, I think that's a good plan. Yeah, 30 I minutes with, 30 minutes with integrate, so means that more than that. For ret retrograde, yeah. if, huh? if I have a retrograde route for this patient, we quickly switch to the retrograde approach. But I don't think, you know, the, this is too tiny, tiny and tortuous at the septal branch. So, and also there is uh, one more uh, collateral channels from uh, uh, obtuse marginal artery to the uh, distal right coronary artery. But also that one is not connected. Agree. I mean, I think a, a mm. good attempt at medical therapy, let this heal up, and then uh, another uh, attempt in, you know, a few months if it's needed. This is, a, yeah. uh, I think, a safe strategy. Yes, I think so. So, I, I, I want to finish this case, okay? Thank you, Dr. Saito. It, it was great to see the range of Thank wires. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.